I'm WBZ meteorologist Sarah Robleski. A chilly start to the day with temperatures that were in the 30s and 40s, but were quickly climbing under mostly sunny skies, and that's what we'll expect through the afternoon. Winds will be light, so interior locations expect temperatures in the upper 50s, lower 60s. But local sea breezes will keep temperatures in the 50s from the North Shore down across the South Shore, Cape and Islands. Still fantastic conditions for the day today. Pretty seasonable, if not just above. Increasing clouds tonight. We fall back into the 30s, 40s, cooler tomorrow. As we'll notice those temperatures in the 50s, a lot more clouds around, and we'll be watching for some spotty showers. Now, I think the best bet of seeing some rain will be from west to east Thursday morning, then some breaks in the action before a warm front lifts northward, and along that front, we could see some scattered showers later on Thursday. The warm air, humid air moves in for Friday. Not a washout, but can't rule out a shower at any point, but we will notice the steadier band of rain to the west getting closer later Friday. Downpour is expected overnight Friday into Saturday. So your weekend plans, they look unsettled. One thing you'll notice though, the temperatures rebound, climbing into the upper 60s for Friday and Saturday. I think the wettest day will be Saturday with an axis of very heavy rain moving from west to east. And by Sunday, still some scattered showers possible. We stay mild, but it won't be as steady. Let me show you what we're expecting so far. And this all may change depending on the exact track, but you get the picture that gusty winds out of the south transporting moisture right into the region. So by late Friday, watching for that steady band of rain, darker shades of green and yellow really indicating that threat moving from west to east on Saturday. Now, that heavier band may push just offshore for Sunday, so we could get some breaks, but lingering low pressure to our northwest will just keep that risk of a pop up shower possible. And we are talking about anywhere from one to possibly two and a half inches of rain, depending where that heavier axis of rain sets up. So it, it doesn't look to be all that pleasant for the start of the weekend, but we do start to see some improvements. After we see the 60s, we're still going to stay above average heading into early next week. And a few more breaks of sunshine.